guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. This is our show that we go live every Wednesday at 10 o'clock Mountain Time and we take junk, trash, and items we find on the side of the road and we turn it into home decor that we either use in our house or we sell at our shop. And today's uh, video is brought to you by what kind of junk do we have? So sir? we have farmhouse scraps. So we've been putting up the ship lap slash T111. It's not T111 because it's not rated for But everybody use. says it's T111, so we're going with it. But it's, don't use it outside, this stuff. It's for inside. Anyway, we had a bunch of like angles because I was doing the rafters up top, up high on the vault of the ceiling, and not a whole lot you can do with that. So I cut the angles down. We made squares, and we've got a trimmed out sign here that we're going to be stenciling and painting. And I'm gonna show you guys how to put them together with just a nail and a hammer. No nail gun today. Because we left the appropriately sized nails at home. So. I do have the nail gun here, but I have inch and a half nails from doing all the shiplap and I couldn't find my one inch nails and I like to shoot out the side because they're so long on this thing. And we're ma also making stair tread cutting boards. So little mini cutting boards because we have stair treads that we purchased that are um, pine that we used at the farmhouse, but we have little extra treads about this wide on each of the stairs, which means we'll be able to make about, what, 16 of these? Because <laughs> we have 16 stairs. So we're gonna be taking it and we're gonna show you how to make some food safe stain using milk paint, and we're gonna bust out the stencils and have a little bit of fun. When you come on, just say hello, and if you have questions, go ahead and ask them. I see Caitlin's on here, so if we don't answer your questions, Pay attention to Caitlin Chambers. She's our moderator and she knows all the things. All right, so a couple questions right off the bat. Wendy, anyone have trouble spraying DIY using an electric sprayer? We used the two, we had trouble with the two to one ratio. So three parts paint, one part water. Two to one is gonna be a little Way thin. too runny. So it's probably run all, ran all over the place. Make sure you guys watch our paint spraying videos. The way you find those is we have a playlist or you can just type in Jamie Ray Vintage Spray DIY Paint and the videos will totally come up in the search engine. So I, I don't think we actually have um, an electric sprayer video, but the concept is essentially the same Shake for it mixing really, really it up. Well, that's the biggest thing. And you want to make sure your, your electric sprayer can keep up with it. But if it can spray regular paint, it can spray DIY. Amy says the paint spraying videos are tremendously helpful. So this I'm going to be stenciling with. This is the beadboard, so I don't need this yet. I was just opening it up. I do need weathered wood. Got some weathered wood. Let me bring the camera down so you guys can see what we're yeah. doing a little bit. And more. I will eventually need white wax because I have a little trick that I like to do on the frames to make them look different, but I paint the whole thing one color. So this is just, again, a sign that Zeb pulled together with leftover fake shiplap that we used in the farmhouse. If you guys haven't watched our latest videos, make sure you're checking those out. Yesterday we did a fun pediment DIY, showed a brand new race dental technique with salt wash. So check that one out. And it was a collaboration with um, members of our business 15 coaching. 15 other videos, great videos. So we have lots that of, playlist. Lots of info in those. Um, and then last, was it Friday or Saturday? We put up our last farmhouse video. So you can watch some of this going up. And we actually did finish every last piece of ship lap in the old part of the farmhouse and that's going to be on Friday's video so we're super excited about that. All right so we are going to get started. I'm using weathered wood. Again if you're new here you probably don't know but you can pick up the paint and the products you're going to see today at jamierayvintage.com. I like to announce that because every week we always get asked that and so I just want to make sure you guys know. Okay so these little ones are for because signs. Brush. So what I like to do yep so what I like to do with these signs is I will just get a little strip one of the other strips and this is wider than the actual board so that you can either make it double-sided or you can use it to hang the sign it'll give you a little lip there so you can hang it on the back you don't have to put hardware on it or it also enables it to be like standing you can will that sign stand i might have made them a little thing now nope, that'll stand on a shelf so we're good here's your sign <laughs> And then the little, the little squares, I'll get to nailing these together. I do have the nail gun in the truck if things get dire, but I wanted to show you that you can do it with hand tools because we're always using the fancy tools, but I didn't always have the fancy tools and a lot of people don't. So, you know, nailing a hammer still gets the job done. I feel like this brush has been used. It, it may have been a first. salt wash brush that didn't get washed right away. Yes. That's the thing. If you're using salt wash, wash your brush right away and it won't, 
won't have any issues with the brush. If you let it sit, it's gonna harden up. Well, what I will do with this when we're done is I will soak this in uh, fabric softener. So I use, I use soak it in fabric softener and then I use that paint pixie soap and clean all the fabric softener off and it really does recondition those brushes. So that is a little pro tip there if you've totally abused your brushes. Um, go ahead and do that. Don't give up on them. They're expensive and we don't have to use the fancy fabric softener. I use the like Suavitel. It's like six bucks for a giant <laughs> gallon of it. Suavitel. I never even heard of that. So Jan had a question that, ah, oh, Jamie Zeb is my biggest fan. We do like each other. Um, Caitlin, is there a product that Ray's recommend for filling staple holes on a wooden chair? So are you painting the chair or are you staining it? If you're painting it, just use lightweight spackle. If you're staining it, use stainable wood putty. They'd sell it at um, the hardware store. Um, I would not recommend Fondo for just filling staple holes. Lightweight is fine. Just put a little bit on there, let it dry, sand it, then do it a second time. Um, let it dry and sand it, then paint. All right, little trick. When you're nailing something like this, and it's gonna get a little loud here for a minute, I'm gonna be nailing some stuff, so. We'll get back to the Q&A in just a sec. What I'm doing is I just kind of marked where my board is. So I've got my, I've got my other two pieces here and they're, use, they're basically my depth measurement so that I can get my double-sided effect going on or hanging. And then I just marked where this is gonna go in and now I'm gonna start my nail so I'm not up here trying to bang it over here and bite it and things like that, so. So somebody asked if we used the new French soap. Um, ironically, I have, and it works great. I mean, still, if it's real crusty, you'll need the fabric softener, but because it's quad milled, meaning it's just a really pure soap, it works great on the brushes. It doesn't hurt them. Um, I, it's all we have at the farmhouse right now, as by like, that's the only soap we have. So when I clean brushes at the farmhouse, I just grab the French soap because it's in the bathroom. So yes, you can use that on your paint brushes and it will work just great. It's safe enough for your skin, and actually we have soap that's even safe for the baby. That's the Marseille soap, the big square, the 72%. And so you can totally, if it's safe enough for a baby, it's definitely um, safe enough to work on your brushes. All right, here we go. All right, it's getting loud. Oh, super chat from Janine. She says, well done getting the shiplap completed by the chickens, oh, a little you. treat. Hi, the chickens are true. You the know chickens what? chickens are f hilarious. They're so funny. We need to get, uh, I'll film some more before the Friday video. They're getting so fluffy. Yeah, they're cuter like they now look like than cats. Anyone. Yeah. <laughs> and for entertainment, we open the chicken coop and we throw out like one cookie. And that's what we watch while we eat our lunch. We're real high class at the farmhouse. All right, can you pass me that? I can get past you. When you're done with that, you pass me the milk paint. All right. Making the stain. There we go. Um, yes. Wendy says the French soap works well on the stencil and the paintbrush. Yep, it absolutely does. And if you guys want to try it out, if you go to Jamie Ray Vintage Home, we have the little mini bars. Yeah. So then you can get a bunch of different scents and see if you really do like it before you commit to the big mamma jamma bars. Okay, so I'm just going to overlap this. It's just kind of the style I like. You could. That's way too much. You could miter your edges or, you know, whatever. However you want to do yours. You do you. You do you. Some We're, people are like, why didn't you just make them all overlap the other way? Because well, this is how it works for it's me. It's charming this way. So just a <laughs> teeny tiny bit. I poured way too much. You don't need much of the milk paint. It's like an 8 to 1 ratio, 7 to 1 ratio. I don't know. I just put a lot of water in there and mix when I'm making a faux stain. Because you want it very, very thin. Can I have a brush that I can mix this with? Yep. Give me just a second here. It's a very critical marking yes, point because this no wood is brush. thin. It's like three eighths of an inch thin. Jan says, thank for a leopard t-shirt with a V-neck. So here's the thing about this leopard shirt. The arms are a little bit, like they're true to size snug, but it goes all the way up to an XL and it's so cute. Hold on, I gotta stand up. It ties. And it's very <laughs> like flattering in the midsection, like a little snug up here, but loose on the bottom and it's really, really soft. So it's a good one. Kaylin linked to it, but if you missed the link, it's at jamierayvintagehome.com. And it's the first time I've worn it, so if you want it, you better buy it, because usually when I show something off, it sells pretty quickly, and I'm not sure. Some things I can reorder, and some things I can't. <laughs> what do they say about Carol Baskin? <laughs> oh, missed that one. So this is just a little box of finishing nails. They're uh, inch and a quarter long. 
a wet pick. This is the ship lap. It says four inch on center, but I think it's more like three and a half inches. I don't know. Yeah, we have a fly friend today. Yeah, there's a fly hanging around here. What size is that one? This size is a small. And it's definitely like, it runs a little large, but I normally wear a medium. And it's really soft. All right. Um, Cheryl says, good afternoon. And Cami from Texas says, I was finally able to find the live chat. I've been trying for weeks. We're excited to have you here, Cami. Sorry for the banging. It says, Red X. Cami, do you happen to be on your, your son's YouTube account? I'm just curious. I see a lot of people that do that, and there's no shame in that game. Otherwise, maybe you're the Red X. I don't know. <laughs> um, Elaine says, Jamie, you have true talent. Being able to stand and go into a squat on that chair is impressive. And it um, spins. And it spins. <laughs> she's, she's getting her best circus act on. <laughs> I have to say that doing the construction at the farmhouse has taught me lots of construction yoga. Like Lots of balancing on a ladder while you hold heavy things out at arm's length. You know. Holding things up while Deb cuts. Putting shiplap above the refrigerator while standing on top of the refrigerator. I mean, it's lots of very um, good things. I've had to learn how to breathe deep and not freak out because I don't love heights. Oh, uh, Cammie says that her grandson took over her account. I thought something like that might have happened. I mean, not that that picture doesn't look like me, but it looked like a boy's gaming account. Just, I happen to have three sons. So, all right, I've got this all mixed up. So all I did was just use milk paint and zinc, and that's gonna make a really great stain. This stain is food safe because milk paint is food safe and then we'll seal it with hemp oil which is also food safe which is a really great option if you're going to be making cutting boards to actually use. Now here's the thing after you make this cutting board you're going to probably want to let it sit for about a week to a month and then it's not going to you can't put it in the dishwasher you can't fully submerge it but you can wipe it off. So, it's just like any wooden uh, yeah. disclaimer. Uh, cutting board and it's they're not they're a fun small size i like them because they're like perfect for cutting up a few little strawberries or cucumber for a salad yeah. you don't have to get like the big old mamma jamma cutting board out the mamma jamma that's the word for the day mamma jamma this side is going to give me fits. i should have got some mamma jamma paper towels because i don't have any yeah i know there's I some it. in the um there's like a knot in this ply somewhere and it's, it's making your life difficult you can run it all the way through it's going to get loud so I'm Make sure that you wash your milk paint brush the right away because it's all natural. It's going to smell like rotten broccoli if you let them sit in your sink. Ask me how I know. Like Hopefully what? that's not translating super loud on your end. Oh, well. If it is, pull your earbuds out. It's waste Any out chance Wednesday. Are drilling a hole in the handle of the cutting board? I mean, I might. I maybe. actually have plans to do that with some of these. Um, but this yep. one, we just, we didn't do it because, you know, it's just a quick yeah. run of the mill. I might show you how to cut it out, but that's going to be real If loud. you want to know, then you got to watch tomorrow. Stay at Home Shopping Network and you'll see what they wind up looking like. Because usually the stuff we make on Wednesday winds up for sale on the January Vintage Home website on Thursday. Yep. Basically, we're just working and we bring you guys along with us. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> Hopefully you don't know. All right, got that one. All right. These will sell for probably like, what, twelve ninety five for these little Yeah, they're boards. small. They're, I mean, that's like eight inches, maybe nine inches of cutting surface. And if we sell all of seven. them, that'll pay. How much are the stair treads each? Oh, they're, they're like, no, 20 something? I don't know. Yeah, that'll almost pay for the stair treads. So if you guys buy these, you're helping buy the stairs of the farm now. <laughs> All right, so that's going to sit on there for a minute, and I'm going to wipe it off. So let that sit there for a second. I'm going to go grab paper towels. Sorry. Yep, you can get by. I need to grab the hemp oil, too. Yeah, it should be on that shelf. Yep. All right, so... Were I using my nail gun, I would have been done with three of these already, but it hasn't taken too long. What are we, what are we in about? I mean, I'm going to kind of go in slow in between Jamie talking with the nailing. You could also glue and hammer them if you yeah, want extra. You, you know, you could just glue them. Construction adhesive for these little signs would probably do the trick. And you could use a handheld staple gun. Or even regular glue if you clamped them. 
You could probably just use regular wood glue too. If you make a cutting board with a scroll saw, what thickness of wood should you use? Scroll saw? I mean, three eighths and quarter inch are real friendly on a scroll saw. But that's not going to work for a cutting board. Oh, for a cutting board? So this is one inch thick. These, st these stair treads are one inch thick. You wouldn't so. want to go any thinner than this for a cutting board. Could you do um, that on a... I use half inch on cutting boards, like some of those cutting boards that I did, the big round ones, I plain oh, those yeah, down to half true. inch. Oh yeah, that's true, like the old school big like pizza cutter, pizza style ones that yeah. I've seen, those are thin. So yeah, you could probably do half inch. Yeah, half inch All right, so we're going to let that dry, um, and it will lighten up as it dries. And you can make it darker, lighter, whatever. You can use black, you can use brown, whatever shade of milk paint you want. But this is unstained, and this is while it's wet, so we're gonna let that dry over here. I don't know where to put it. Oh, we lost one. That we're one came through. We're gonna lean it up at an angle like that. Oh. That one, that there one shot go. through the board there. That's gonna be the back of the sign. This color was zinc, and this is a Sweet Pickens milk paint. You can also use farmhouse finishes to make faux stains as well. And again, you can pick this up at jamierayvintage.com. If you're making stains, you don't need a pint. Just buy a little sample. And that's more than enough for this kind of a project because like I used to, I put like this much milk paint in the bottom and I made this much stain, which is more than enough to do all of these here. So we get asked a lot about the food safe products. Since these are bio certified, we're very confident in telling you, yes, you can use them for food and things like that. They're no, I mean, I, don't, I, I haven't seen anyone be allergic to it ever or even heard of that. So yeah, the I first power to tool I would buy would be a skill saw Circular. or jig. Circular skill Cir saw or a jig. My very first one would be circular. Circular. Okay, so that's the round one. That's Hand the skill saw. Handheld skill saw, circular saw. You can buy Black & Decker that plug in for very inexpensive. And then a jig. Also, if you buy one that plugs in, it's going to be a lot less expensive than buying the cordless. I was down at Lowe's the other day. And oh, they have a jigsaw that's made by Craftsman that was $29. It plugged in, $29 jigsaw. And then you can start making all the cuts you want to make. Yeah, so that really you can get them rather inexpensive. This is what I would do. I would buy the jig like that, start doing some cutouts, right? Because you can use it for that. Sell those and then take that profit and buy a circular saw. And then take that profit and buy yourself a drill. That's literally how we got started was all plug-in tools. And when we needed to buy a new tool, we just did enough projects to pay for the next ones. And really that's how we've done everything. That's how we built the farmhouse. We've been doing it a little bit at a time. And as we've been doing new things, starting business coaching, starting the Jamie Ray Vintage Home website, we've been taking those funds and reinvesting in our business, but then also investing in things that we need. And that's a really smart way to help grow a business. And if you've got extra scrap wood, like we have so much scrap wood, we're going to start having a scrap pile here at the shop where people can come get a bunch of wood. Like everything you can fit in a box for five bucks because I hate throwing away wood that could be used for projects and you can really do a lot of things with not a lot and here's another pro tip if you don't have access to scrap wood you go to home depot they ask them where the coal lumber is and what that is is lumber that's like damaged or whatever 70 percent off it's like warped or end broke off Seven or zero. something or if they don't have enough there dig through their regular wood pile take it to the lumber manager and be like hey would you would you consider this coal lumber it's damaged and a lot of times they oh. will, and then they'll give you the discount. Because sometimes they don't have time to fish. I will find it. stuff in their pile and be like, hey, half this board's unusable, but I, uh, you know, 70% off, I'll get the half I need. All right, so let oh, me show that, you how I designed these. Missed. I know, I told, I had a shiner on that one side. How are we going to do that? I'm going to knock it back out here in a minute, but you grabbed it and started painting it. Oh. So <laughs> that ride. Well, okay, so I've got the cutting board, right? You want to put a handle on it. Here comes something round. Doesn't matter what it is. Here about an inch and a half. Next level. Check this then. out. Coal lumber, C U L L. Um, or just ask for the discount lumber, but if you say the word coal, then you sound like professional. <laughs> okay, so I'm eyeballing the center on this, right? And I'm just going to draw a little circle. It's right basically up top like there. buying the dented cans at the grocery store. Okay, so my circle looks like the bottom of this water bottle, it's not quite circly but you get the gist. I actually, for this other one, I used a Febreze can. A Febreze. But I can't find my Febreze can. So, all right. General shape of a circle up on there, right? It's generally a circle, is that what you're saying? So what I'm actually gonna do next is I take that same circular pattern that I had. Stuff on me. I need and uh, you can measure if you want. I'm eyeballing about half an inch down from the top of the board. 
and I'm just measuring this way here. That's going to get the shoulder of my cutting board. I'm not getting paint on me, just dust from the general dustiness of this area. Okay. Yeah, and then this is mostly dry. All right, so I've got this shape now, right? I don't want these wings on my cutting board. So what I do is I just take the pencil or pen or whatever and just round that out from the edge. It's not super hard. What I'll do is I'll cut one side down and then I'll use that other side as the actual template. So now that I've got those, I have my scrap pieces from the other one. Once you have one side cut out, what I do is I just trace like this. Here, I'll show you on the other side. All right, so I would, I would cut this line here, right, with whatever you're using to trace with. Obviously, the water bottle wasn't great because we had these indents from the bottom of the water bottle. But once you get one side cut out, don't do the other tracing on the other side. That's mostly just to help you get center. So I use this shoulder pattern here, and that's hard to hold with one hand. And I'm just going to, and then I'll flip it. So you flip it to the other side, and I might save this and use it as a template on like 10, 12 cutting boards and do a bunch all at once. Okay, and so there, now I have my, that's where I make my cuts and both sides will match. And you guys, have, you guys have seen me use the skill, the uh, the jigsaw on camera on the table, and it gets a little jumpy and bouncy because there's not a lot of room to work here or clamp it down. So, with this small piece, so we're probably going to refrain from cutting it on camera, but you get the idea. Do you know when you're going to get the transfers back in stock, Susan? I don't. I don't know that, so I'm sorry. All right, so I think. Seb, I'm going to use the wreath stencil. What do you think about that? I think that would be awesome. Okay. I'm going to fix your nail problem, though. <laughs> You're going to fix my nail problem? Well, my shiny nail that I had. Oh, the shiner. Yeah. So this is our wreath, our mini wreath pack. It comes with six different wreaths. So Cheryl says, I need a husband before I decide to quit my job and do this full time. I can't find where that nail was. I thought you were going to say, I can't find you a husband. I was like, well. I also not. can't do that. <laughs> Which wreath should I use? I, I, just I, I can't. Out. You painted it, and now I can't find that nail. Oh, it's, that's, not the, that's not the one. That's oh. Right there. That's, you can't find <laughs> that's the one that I did over at the, uh, the for the sample at the yeah. warehouse. house. So, all right, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm trying to decide layout. I should really plan these things ahead of time. Thanks, Andy. She says she loves the shirts, and Laura says the new grain sacks are my favorite. I love them, too. Uh, yeah, great. Okay, let's see. I want to write something in it. That's why I'm like, maybe I should use a bigger one so it, like, fills up this outside area. I'm going to go stick with the bigger one, but can I squish this? Possible. Possibly. I'm doing precision work with a hammer right now. You're doing next level carpentry? Well, I don't know about that. Trying not to blow a hole in this with this finished nail. <laughs> Alright, let us see. Okay, that's better. I like it. It's fine. Done. Okay, now it's done. Alright, I'm going to heat down oh, this yeah. one. Jamie will be back. I'll look at comments while she's gone. Alright. Oh, you know, Rhonda, I might, we might start selling the pieces. We're doing, we're working on some wholesale stuff to, uh, to send out to the, uh, the Jamie Ray Vintage wholesalers that we have that sell the stencils. They'll have options to grab a hold of all that stuff that we're going to be making here in the fall. So hopefully we have some fun ideas and things so you guys can get your hands on some easy to do DIY projects. Alright. <laughs> oh that's better proportionate wise. Okay. Does that fit better? Yeah, it's just it's a little big on the edges. Do we have scissors? 
Yeah, probably this way. Here, you heat gun this. I'll heat gun that if you would go grab me scissors. Sorry. I should have thought about that. I'm just going to cut the edges off of this. Cheryl says I'm about to buy my first uh, JRV stencils. Yay! Yeah, heat guns be careful with. They are dangerous. I have burned myself, my clothes, and my phone. So how wide are the pieces of wood that I use for the frame on the side? These are, these are an inch. And then this is three-eighths of an inch thick, so it gives you that good overlap. So... I mean, technically, we can do two signs on this and flip them around for seasonal or whatever we want. And they'll hang. I don't know. Can you guys see up there? You just slip them on the wall and they hang real good on that lip. I'll move the camera so you can see it. This table feels like it's a lot closer than normal. It's because I've started prepping for the stay-at-home shopping network and everything's over there. So I had to push the table real close. Oh, and the sign's crooked. All right, so you can see that there. Hold on. Wait for it. Fix that sign. Here's your sign. <laughs> All right, so we just have a nail in the wall here that we use for hanging stuff that we're going to photograph. And with that lip that's on there, you can just throw it right on up. Same with this side. Probably going to get some wet paint on the wall, but that's okay. Wipe off. Do you think that the furniture with transfers or even now sell? I have sold so many furniture with transfers on it. It's all in the way that you put it on there and the way that you market it, for sure. But it makes it look a little bit different. Well, and anything decor-wise that we put transfers oh, on, yeah. like small decor sells so fast, like I small think, totes and boxes and things like that. I almost think I do better using the transfers, cutting them up on multiple projects and use them on small decor. I, I can always ask more money on that. All right, so I'm just using the bigger wreath stencil that I cut down. I've got my number 20 stencil brush and my beadboard paint this is the farmhouse color every piece of furniture is painted in that so i'm just going to make sure this is centered in here and i did have to cut down my stencil i could have just shoved it in but i didn't feel like fighting it so now i I've, I've got a custom size so that fit more places and i apologize if you have a cat and they currently think someone's at the door well Waste Not Wednesdays are not edited, they're filmed live, and we do it right here in real time in front of you guys. So if we make mistakes or drop stuff, you know, you get to see all that. If I happen to talk over Zeb and it irritates somebody, <laughs> if he happens to talk over me and nobody notices because he's a man, I mean... It's true. It's live. So we, we get the comments like every week, we're like, oh, here we go again. Well, I think... <laughs> You should totally take all of our live videos and then make a compilation video showing you talking over me and then Why, every so one of give, you guys can So we can give everybody it. an eye twitch. Like, see? <laughs> Marvin can't hear the banging over his snoring. <laughs> there you it. go. Wreath is in there. So Andy's Vintage Creations. Every piece I have done with a transfer is sold and for asking price in my area. People love them in rural Washington. Yeah, we haven't seen that they're really slowing down. And if anything, they just, you know, people are getting so creative with them. Some people worry that if you use a transfer, your piece is going to look like everybody else's because the transfers are similar. But the way people are cutting them up and using them almost like a mural on the side of pieces is awesome. So I need a line to mark this on. So I think I'm going to use... The piece of the piece of this that I cut off, I'm gonna use that to line it up. So F A I. And loves so. the real time. <laughs> well, that's good because even our edited videos are. Oh, you know what I realized? I gotta do it this way. So what stencil are you using again? So I used the wreath, the pair of wreaths. So I was gonna use the mini wreath, and I used the big. Did you wreath. show them up close? And huh? Did you show oh, them? Yeah, close? I showed them. Oh, I, didn't, I missed that. I must have been. And then I'm using the mini farmhouse style letters. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, farmhouse mini letters. They're all on one sheet, so you don't lose them. So I don't know. I'm trying to fit this. All right, I'm going to heat. Well, I guess I've already dried this side, so I can stencil this side with mine. I really should have planned that better, but that's all right. This is okay, let me just a little. Before you get going on that, can you hand me that pile of stencils? Oh, I sure can. Which stencil would you like? The pile. The pile. Oh, you know? Maybe. I mean, I've got. Do you need all of them? You need a mermaid? Um, I, I 
don't know that I need a mermaid, but you know what? You I'll do. Sec. I'll do a mermaid scene. We'll do a mermaid scene. All right. With in white. Oh, did you heat gun the edge of this? I I don't know. It's all right. I know a place to get more. Yeah, JamieRayVintage.com. <laughs> Commercial break. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna make this say faith on here. Hopefully, I've centered this properly. Otherwise, I will be repainting over it. Oops. We are going to go for an under the sea theme here on mine. This would be a fun little sign for like a coastal bathroom or something. You know what I love is that these are spaced far enough apart that you can use your stencil brush without having to like worry about getting into the next letter. The, are you using the big one? Mm -hmm. The big stencil the brush? 20 or whatever it is? Yeah, I'm using the number 20. Okay, you know what I did then? What did you do? I did not center that, so <gasps> it's not even close. How Where'd that weathered you? wood brush go? How dare you. That'll never do. All right, where's the brush that you used to paint that? Um, it's right here with the weathered wood. I knew it was close. All right, so we're just going to... So if you mess up stenciling, Pro fix, tip. fix, you know, just go right back over it with the paint and try again. If at first you don't succeed, paint, paint again. All right. Next. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to start with the eye in the middle and go from there. That's what I should have done. I just thought, oh, I could just eyeball it. I was wrong. Ginger said she loved it off center. I mean, I don't hate it, but I'd probably give somebody an eye twitch. Generally, unless it's like something custom, centering the stuff sells better. Generally. <laughs> Generally speaking. Okay. Now I need some of this. I got now some on my I edges. Now can I spell it with starting in the middle? That's, that's what I don't know. Ooh, spell it. It's like spelling backwards and forwards. Yeah. Okay, so this that's is the, right. what's the, is this just called mermaid stencil? I've only used this one uh, twice. Yeah, I think it's just a mermaid. We're a long ways away from the ocean. All right, so I've got my seabed. My plants and coral are growing. I'm going to go grab another color real quick to do the mermaid. All right. <coughs> excuse me. You're excused. See? Well, it's center-ish. There you go. Faith. We're going to let that dry. Is that how you spell faith? F-A-I-T-H. You got it. Sweet. Done. Can you grab the white it's wax like, It's like looking me? at a word for so long and you spell it like know, 80 like, times and then you're like, wait, am I doing that right? Wait a tick. Is that right? All right. Do you, do you is there now? white wax over there or do I need to grab some out of stock? I um, might have used all the white wax yesterday, just saying. I think you're in luck. We have a whole jar. I'm in luck. And a white wax brush that's already waxy. Janine says, love the realness of your lives. Help us realize we can do it too, not out of our reach. True. If I, oh, if I can do it, anybody can do it because I am not super great at stenciling. I, I lack the patience for perfection. It all comes down to having a good stencil and a good stencil brush. Debbie Beard said she could never stencil. Cheryl Atkinson, super chat for the stairs. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. We, we appreciate it. We appreciate that, man. Yesterday, Deb and I were talking. Let's talk about tile. Can we talk about tile? We can. We have a the master bedroom bath is big. So Zeb tells me I need to. We didn't get a brand deal for the tile upstairs. We did get a brand deal for the kitchen, so we're getting very beautiful Carrera marble backsplash. But I was looking and I said, Zeb, I found this tile. It was three ninety five a uh, sheet for this hex tile, which if you have price tile, is very very cheap. And he goes, oh, three ninety five. I was like. What do you think it's supposed to cost? Like fifty cents? Would you guys please tell him that three ninety five for a sheet of hex tile is a good price? Because I was looking at tile that was sixteen and nineteen dollars a piece. I was like, I man, bring in cold. that fifty cent tile. We'll, tile we'll break cold. it up and make a mosaic out of it. I'll do Ain't it. nobody got time for that. What's the best stencil brush for large stencils and small stencils? I like the number 20 this one right here. things. And then if you're going to buy two, just buy the number 20 and then buy the number, I think it's like 16. 
What's the other? We have the little one out here. Where's that? I don't know what number they are. Okay. Really, they're all fine. If you're going to do both, just buy the number 20 and then later upgrade to a smaller one. And you can use them for wax and stenciling. Just wash them really good in between. I know you're going to like frame this later, but I'm going to go ahead and make a sign on it. Then you can frame it. Oh, yeah. I can, I can frame them later. You can frame it off camera. Oh, do you want me to do that box too? Hold on. My mermaid is coming along, but the groove in this faux shiplap. Jolene says three ninety five is super cheap. Grab it up. Thank you, Jolene. We are now best friends. I was like, I'm trying. Here I am. I'm at Lowe's. She's like three ninety five a, a tile. I'm like trying to come up with the best design for the least amount of money, and I'm real proud of myself because I found this tile. And he's like, three ninety five. That's so expensive. I'm like, man, get me a mold. I'll make my own tile. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. Just link the stencil brushes. And Cre Donna from Crescent Moon says that's a good price. I have a plan. I, I have an idea to do something fun with this tile, and I think it's going to be good. So I want to do this. The hex tile is mostly white, but has like black hexes dispersed through it. And then I'm going to use that on the floor and then do white subway tile up the shower because subway tile is rather inexpensive. And then I want to take this hex tile and I want to put it like in the center of the bathroom and make a rug essentially out of it and then put a border. So I want to put molding on wooden doors. Oh, that would be fun. We actually want to be using all antique doors. So they all have paneling and they're pretty good as far as that goes. All right. So okay, I'm mixing up my own version of uh, this old 57 with the white because I want my bubbles to be a little bit different. We're going to go with some bubbles here. What I don't know is how to... Because this has this weird... I will lose part of the stencil. Maybe I can shove it down in there, we'll see. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. That happens. It does happen. Crescentman says she loves the subway title. Title. Tile. I love subway tile too. It's very classic. And my house is monochromatic. Everything is black and white. So. Okay, so that didn't change the color as much as I wanted. Lots of white. I'll show you guys up close here in just a sec. There we go. Oh, UPS is here. Oh, I did not offload. Where's that brush? You don't, you don't need to see this. I hope Les isn't watching. She's going to be like, Jamie, you should have offloaded that. This is probably going to need two coats of paint, so I'm going to let that air dry. My bubbles are a little rough a little because paint. this board is not... Your bubbles are rough. ...super smooth. I don't think bubbles in their nature are rough. I don't but think that's how that works. I think I'll distress this and you'll be like, oh, yeah, those oh, did like I, bubbles. Did I bring the paper towels? Would you? I would get them, but I would have to squish them. Okay, but show them my mermaid right. masterpiece while I do that. Zeb's mermaid masterpiece is right here. He can build you a house and make you a mermaid sign. Um... <laughs> Can you get me, sweetie, I need paper towels, they're in the bathroom, so they're right there in this oh. bathroom right here. And then I need white wax. So I brought you the white wax. Oh, it's right there. It's right there in the middle. With, oh! with a brush. Holla! Okay, so here's what I'd like to do. We're going to move back to this faith sign while he's grabbing me a, some paper towels because I keep squishing him getting past him. So instead of painting the frame differently, I just come with over the weathered wood with white wax. And then do we have a piece of sandpaper handy? I can get one. You did watch me. Them, you them you swipe it like a windshield wiper. Have you guys ever watched that gal do her makeup? She's from Jersey. I, I can't remember what brands she sells. She went viral. And she's like, watch me swipe it. So you're just going to swipe it. She's so cute. Okay. Once you get that on there, I'm going to take this paper towel and wipe off a little bit of the excess. Oops, I forgot to do that whole side going to make this frame stand out but then I don't have to paint it like two different colors because a lot of times when you get signs like this guys like if they're pre-assembled they already have frame on them and you're like shoot I don't want to have to take that off Ain't nobody got time for that okay so 
So once you do that, right, it looks okay as is. I just take the sandpaper and pull back that original oops, paint color. And it just makes it look like weathered um, signage. Oops, is this the wax brush? Wax brush. Did the wax brush fall on the floor? Um, Not over there. I don't know. I was gone. All right. So I'm going to sand this. Did you answer Dooney Traveler's question? No, I was working. Jamie, how much would you charge for a vintage farmhouse school, stool? Uh, like painted? I don't know. I'd have to see a picture. So, $30 to $50. Alright, here you go. So, here's the faith sign. All finished. I will probably, I got a little bit of paint on the inside of here. I will probably take this wax brush and just kind of go inside the frame a little too. All right, I'm doing two-sided. We're gonna have fun summer mermaid. I don't know. Did you guys, and I'm just can you see the contrast them. in my bubbles? Bubbles! I just lightened them up with some beadboard. That reminds me of Finding Nemo when that one fish is like bubbles. It's like a he's like a shrimp or something. I don't know what he is. Is it a shrimp? Was it? I don't know. I don't remember. I have not watched Finding Nemo. He cleans Nemo. the tank, and he's obsessed with the bubbles. Clearly. All right, there we go. Faith. All right, we're, we can hang that behind you. That one's done. I'll clear wax it later. I have faith that I can make this hang straight. There we go. Oh, you guys can't see it. We'll show you later. I'll bring it up so you can see. Let's show you that one. I just had to get it out of the way before I messed it up again. Okay, where is the uh, They love that you know that much about Finding Nemo. Guys, I have watched all the Disney movies hundreds of times. Guys, he was a stay-at-home dad for two years. Well, and, o and that's when Finding Nemo came out, is right around Him then. and Odelia, the reason why they're so close is because he was the stay-at-home dad and I did mortgages for two years. And he was also going to, he was going to school from home, so. I was doing like online and night classes. So he spent a lot of time with the Nemo. And Odelia doesn't... Can you reach it? Yeah, Are you going to make it? <laughs> Zeb doesn't talk as much as I do. I know you're shocked. Odelia didn't talk till she was three. Until he went back to work and she spent more Odelia time. Odelia and I Zeb and a... her had very few words. You should see, now that she's she's almost 15, and Odelia have, and I have like this unspoken... Language. Non-verbal communication that we always do all the time. And uh, I don't know. She gets me. But Julia watched Finding Nemo and Zeb played Call of Duty. Or no, back then you played World of Warcraft. It, it was it was a little bit of World of Warcraft and a, uh, a little bit. And we we also we also did quite a bit of Halo back in the day. Uh, Zeb was doing beta testing for World of Warcraft. That's a lot of World of Warcraft. We were younger then, our early twenties. We've we've outgrown that stage in our life. Although I was pretty grown up because I had a I had a pretty grown up job. Zeb said I was the only 40-year-old, 18-year-old he ever knew. It's the yellow fish that does bubbles. The shrimp is the one that cleans. Caitlin Googled it. There you go. Caitlin knows all the things. I went a little too wet. I didn't hey, offload Brandon. enough. And my 1962 is a little cloudy. I'm going to redo it. Right, we're, so. we're in the spirit of redoing things. Oh. Look what you did. Just, I just dropped that right on the stencil. That's the one I tried to loot. Maybe it's just that stencil today. No, I'm, I'm gonna get it. All right, it. so I'm using the mini farmhouse. You gotta stop oh. dropping this down here. I'm using the mini <laughs> farmhouse animals. You were, you couldn't get away from it. You were stuck. All right, I'm going to put the cow on here. Where's my? Did you use the white one? Can I have that, sweetie? Yep. Yeah, this is the white. And this can be used for the old 57, should you need something bright nope, and I'm blue. Good. The mermaid sign is probably good. Again, Zeb's going to frame this sign. Yeah, so I'll frame that out. You could paint that box. Um, I'm going to, and then yes. in a minute, I'm going to oil wax that, um, whatever that is. What is that cutting board? Yeah. All right, do I, what do I want the cow to say? Should we say milk? 
Let me borrow your wool. What are we going to make it say? I need the white stencil. Is this so a I milk can... cow zip? Yeah. Okay. Those look like teats to me. So I could put like fresh milk. Well, it's definitely not a bull. It's not a steer. All right. I was just, I mean, my, I bought an old farmhouse, but I do not have farm knowledge. All right. Fresh milk it is. Oh, hey, dad. My dad's watching. Everybody say hi to Jack. Jack Melvin Sr. That's my dad. You guys might get to see him soon because we're going to go pick him up and bring him here. We need his construction know-how to help us get this finished. We even have a zero gravity reclining chair so he can put his feet up and point and tell them what to do. And Joey, my great nephew, is watching. Hey, Joe, man. So Joey's the same age as Miss Eliza. Can I have that? I'm waiting for the white. Yes. And Desiree and I were, were we pregnant together, Desiree? I don't remember. Fixed it. <clears throat> All right, so you got you got your boss coming over for dinner. You throw this side out, right? But if you want a party animal. You put this one in the bathroom. Business in the hanging. front, party in the back. Done. Should we, should for all we do the mermaid your... farmhouse lovers, I didn't realize you'd flip that over. Can you? I got some paint where it shouldn't have gone, so can you? Yep. <laughs> Joey says, what's up? My favorite, favorite thing and of Joey of all times is when he told the story of the little pigs. And the other day that came up in Desiree's Facebook memories. And I think I almost cried because Joey's gotten so big, you know. It's like sweet that they grow up, but then you miss when they're little. All right, I'm going to wax this the, with Jamie's wax trip. Yep. You're going to use my wax trip? Your wax trick. Oh, I thought you said trip. I'm like, I wax. probably did. I'm like, we're really not going on a trip, are we? Wax, a waxy trip? Waxy trip. I probably should be using a smaller. Uh, that's how you, when you how, only have a big stencil brush, pro tip, you come at the letter at an angle there. F R E. S. Sorry, I have to spell out loud. So in case you guys don't know, Desiree, who's with my dad right now, she is Caitlin's older sister, and she is the only buddy, and only buddy, only person who's had the privilege of sharing a room with me besides them, because I was basically raised like an only child, because my sisters are quite a bit older than me. Desiree could probably tell you things about me that I don't want anybody to know. <laughs> Zeb could probably also tell things, but Zeb still lives with me, so he keeps those things to himself. I will, I will always keep to those things death. to myself because a lot of them involve you. <laughs> involve me or you? Together, like things we've done together in our teenage oh, yes. years. This is true. <laughs> there are things we are not going to talk about. Well, once the kids are grown, then we can talk about it. We just don't want them doing some of these They're things. They're like, mom and dad did it, so it's chill. That's yeah. what happens when you grow up together. Zeb and I have a different uh, relationship than most husbands and wives because we finished raising each other. All right. So I got that eye a little high, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch up that paint right there. And I'm okay, gonna... how, did you wipe this back with paper towels? What, yes, and then I sanded it. All right, here's my fresh milk. I actually think that's cute, a little bit off center. I'm going with it. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to stress that one. That one's cute. Can we have that box over there? Yep. I was going to paint the box and do, do I sell something starter kits? stenciled on the side. We don't, no. We're don't. we not good about having kits because it's hard to know what everybody's going to want. As soon as you make a kit, somebody says, can I have the kit that I want this separate or different? So Zeb, what is this? It's just a box. Yeah, it's just like a little tray or whatever, you or know, like, like, a like an entry table catch-all tray. Oh, I'm going to make it so it's cute so you could use it like a platform. How about that? There you go. Could be a little riser for your Thank centerpiece. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, Ginger, we can't discount DIY paint, which is why we don't do it, but... Can if you, you ever need to know like some basics of what to start with, you can email customer care at jamierayvintage.com and Caitlin can give you some suggestions of what you would need um, to get started. Because Caitlin, wax on my side. it's okay, I got you, boo. And over here. And over there. Hold on. I don't know. This this brush is like all kinds of special. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. It's, well, you just distress it. It'll be fine. It needs that brush needs a good uh, downy soap. Yeah. I don't know why we picked it. We have about five thousand brushes. Cassandra says, hey, Jamie, love the leftwood print shirt. Thank you. I do, too. 
Leopard print is really popular. We have mm, lots of animal print. We have an animal, two animal print cardigans. We have animal print shoes. Okay, that's with the, the, the frame done mostly-ish. I didn't sand mine yet. I think we have some animal print masks. I'm not sure if Christy got those up on the website yet in our mask um, area of JRV closet, but I do know I ordered leopard print masks. Ginger says, okay, thanks. Just so many options. Absolutely, Ginger. We are totally like, that's one if of the If I was going to get like a starter setup, I'd probably get a few samples of whites and like a, a good blue and Small a gray wax. or a black. And then I'll, I'll wax and go from there. Yeah. Oh, Caitlin just linked my shirt. Thank you, Caitlin. Caitlin is all right. on top of it. I am going to you hemp, oil that? hemp oil this. Did you need me to pass you the uh, paper I, towel? I guess I'll just use a paper towel because all the rags are yonder. Okay, so we don't, yeah, we need to either buy some or do some laundry. Oh. So probably I'm going to order some from Amazon. Hey, new channel member. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Make sure you're hitting up community. We have a printable on there. Um, Zeb is going to get some printables up by the end of the week. We already did a couple this month all in one. Well, we it's July now. It's already July. I know. We're behind. We're, we're asking for grace with the farmhouse. So we're still doing our live videos. So our next regular channel member live video will be next Tuesday. Um, at 10 a.m. because our business coaching will be at 2 p.m. So business coaching we go live every Tuesday in Facebook and then regular channel members um, They get a video every other Tuesday and we alternate the time So since business coaching is at 2 p.m. Next week, then regular channel live will be at 10 a.m. And we usually announce it and we'll post that link before we go live. It's mountain time by the way, so you guys get that So dad just said you will be 40 in four years your aging must be going backwards. Dad, I'm going to be 40 in just over two years. I was Remember, Dad, you were 49 when I was born, so you have to take your age, subtract 49 years, and then you know exactly how old I will be. My dad just turned 87. He's yeah. June 3rd, I believe, or was it May? Is it May? No, June. June 3rd. My mom had the crazy wild hair to have one more baby, and my dad was like, yeah, that's cool. I'm 49, but let's have one more. <laughs> all right. Tomorrow is July 2nd. Have you all forgotten? It? Have you all gotten everything you did, done you need to do at the farmhouse? No. No, but they're building them tomorrow, and I got confirmation they'll be delivered end of the week, first of the week, because they finish them, and then they got to get them on the delivery schedule. Yeah, so Zeb will get For the, the trusses. We're talking about trusses. Zeb will get the sheeting finished up Friday, and then they probably won't put the trusses on until the beginning of the week. The thing is, we have cement coming on the 10th. So, that's all right. I will get them out of the way. We'll put them on that new little baby grass I'm growing. It's fine. We will figure it out. <clears throat> the thing about Zeb and I is we know how to work, and we got kids that are great minions. All right, here's my fresh milk one. Is that cute? Zeb's gonna frame this out and I'll do the same frame like I did with the Faith one. And okay. then show them that one. So this is, if you wanted to, you could even stencil these with milk paint with the sweet pickings and it would still be hey, food Parker. safe. And then you could do the hemp oil over the top of that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and- So this is what we started with. And this is the color we got now. What, and it what will dry color? a you lot use zinc lighter. on this, zinc, right? Yep. Zinc and sweet pickings? Yep, we'll let that dry, and you'll see tomorrow at the Stay at Home Shopping Network, we'll get that photographed. And that will be much, much lighter. It's best to use a rag. The paper towel got kind of linty on me. Yep. So tomorrow, Stay at Home Shopping Network is going to be one hour later. So get the word out. We will be going live at 5 p.m. instead of 4 p.m. Mountain Time. So make sure you guys get that in your calendar. Oh, I'm going to show you guys all of what we've been doing. Okay, so this is one of Jamie's. And we will put that in community as well to let everybody know that we're moving it to 5 p.m. We're always late anyways, so it's probably better that way. So you don't have to two-side them. You can just leave it blank on the back or paint it or whatever you want to do. But they're nice because they can sit on a shelf. And do, well, 
they can sit, but our table has so much paint and things on it, it won't sit flat. If there's no, <laughs> not a level spot on this situation. And then you want to fit this. You want to hand me that farm fresh? I'll frame this off camera. If you want to see how they're framed and you're just joining, you can see at the first of the video, I frame one by hand with a, a nail and a hammer. Nails and a hammer. Well, that's not going to work. So we're going to just make this say eggs right here. Fresh milk. I can't fit the chicken, so I'm going to fit a word. I'll make it like I intended it to be that way. Oops, I got over the line a little. Careful. Oops, got over the line again. Just don't, don't, you're making me nervous. Jamie, how do you wash your rags with wax? Also talk about oil wax care. So oil wax, you need to put them, they make cans where you can put them in to dispose of them. Metal and cans. I generally do not wash them. I use rags like that can be tossed like the, you know how you can buy like a, ba a box of rags from like, what are they using for? Mechanics rags? Yeah. So you toss them, just like the mechanics do. So You guys, don't worry. This is next level here. I'm just touching this. The side. reason you want to store them in like a metal can or dispose of them in a metal can is because oil-based products can spontaneously combust, especially if they're in like a shop with sawdust or anything like that. So just be careful and make sure you're disposing of them properly. Yeah, if you look up... Or, uh, if you look it up on Amazon and you look up a can to dispose, dispose of oil rags, you can find them. And that's how you get rid of them. You just lock them up and then you can toss them that way. All right, hold on. Okay. I'm almost there. I had to do some next level touch up because <laughs> that was a hot mess over here. Do we have that sandpaper? Um, yeah, it's right here. Oh, here, use this one. Just the eggs with a couple of chickens, although I think Jane, I hope I remember the time. I'll just stay on YouTube until you come on. <laughs> Jane, you're awesome. Jane Brown. I love reading your comments every time. You always have really thoughtful comments, and they're they're long, and I'll, sometimes I feel bad because when we respond, I'm like not we super lengthy them. on the back end, but we read every comment. Here we go. Every comment out Two there chickens the says eggs. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do with this one, but maybe I'll put fresh here later. And then I'm going to white wax this edge. So this turned out really cute. Here's our little chicken box. And I actually think this would be really cute if you had this sitting on your counter with a little like wire basket with eggs in it. So maybe I'll stage that up that way because I think we have a wire basket that would be just perfect for this. Emperors and unique gifts. I've been scared of my rags ever since Jamie posted about that the other day. It's, you know, don't be scared. Just, just, just use a metal it. can. Yeah, we just we just put that out there so that you guys were aware of it. I've never had anything spontaneously combust on me, but it does happen. So just be aware, especially of it. with warmer weather. And we would hate for anybody to just not know. So make sure you get those cans. Make sure you follow the rules. Just like mechanics, it's the exact same way that mechanics dispose of their rags. And literally, you can buy a box of rags that you can just toss and then you don't even have to wash them. Yeah. Or if you have old t-shirts, those are perfect. Cut up your old t-shirts before you toss them, save them, and use those for your bag of rags. A great way to reuse, and on Waste Not Wednesday, that's what we do is we take junk and reuse it. Teganique went to an artisan market and went really good, sold a ton of smalls. That's awesome. So for the beeswax towels or the DIY wax towels, I just wash them on cold um, with soapy water by themselves. So like I use uh, just the regular dish detergent and I wash those on cold and I've never had a problem. All, All right, right, so real quick rundown done. of products used and stencils used. Okay, so I use the mini farm animals, the mermaid, the, the full size wreath that comes in a two pack, the mini farmhouse letters, weathered wood, beadboard, Old 57, white wax, hemp oil, and sweet pick and zinc. That's a lot of products. Yeah. Hold on, where's the, hold on, where's the cutting board? Cutting board is over here drying. Cause you gotta it, show them all I the kept putting it once. on the table. This is a lot that we did in an hour, guys. So find some old scraps, find some great paint, get your projects done. Go to jamierayvintage.com and check out jamierayvintagehome.com for your clothes and home decor. We're gonna be uploading a ton of new stuff between now and tomorrow, so definitely check out that website. And if you have questions, you can email Caitlin at customercare at jamierayvintage.com. You guys have a great day. We love you. Go, go, go make over some junk. Go make all the things. Find some scrap wood somewhere and get it cut up into small pieces and go. Get and scrappy. If you, need a, if you need a jigsaw, if you wanna cut some stuff out, I'm serious, like 30 bucks, you can own one.
30 bucks, you heard it here first. Love you guys. All right, guys, catch you later. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY.